I'm Jerome Lorico. I'm the creative director of the brand Lorico. Lorico in Latin is cuirass or armor. So that's what we do. We create modern armor for the modern society. My collection for PH Tokyo 2022 is called San Sun or Without Sun. This is actually inspired by a childhood memory. The volcano just started erupting. You cannot really see anything anymore. That is something that um, interests me because in our modern society, image should be seen on its full scale all the time in order for us to appreciate it. But this collection is actually the antithesis of that wherein we're trying to show bits and pieces of the silhouettes, the colors, the shapes, through playing with different layers of fabrics. For this collection, we actually featured a lot of different processes. We'll be using natural fabrics, which is abaca, which is very common from our province, Albay. So it is actually very personal and at the same time, it's a great feeling for me to be able to use something that is familiar to me and to bring it to the world stage. But to make it into something that is modern, we actually baked fabrics in order to give them a specific texture which is very unique to our brand. Our process is actually very new. We developed it for a long time and we are confident that we, it would be able to bring a different look and perspective to the collection that we'll be presenting to PH Tokyo. When we're doing the PH Tokyo collection, it tried to go inside the Japanese psyche. One thing that is very unique in the Japanese psyche is that they're very drawn into anything that is crafty but also involves some emotions, some mental discourse. So this is actually how we tried to come up with this collection by trying to look into that kind of culture and giving our collection an identity, something that is Filipino but has the aesthetic and the consciousness of a Japanese. It is a challenge for everyone to be creative, but I believe that this is the perfect time to do it, to create something and to not stop. Creativity is something that we try to hone. It is something that we nurture. So the moment that we stop nurturing it is the moment that we, that we go blind. Filipino creative have a lot of challenges along their way, but I think one of the finest things that we have is that we know how to endure. And PH Tokyo is actually a testament of that. And it's, it's very important for us to to promote this and to do this. We are proving not just the creativity of Filipinos, but you know the endurance of the Filipino spirit as well.